Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the lappings for beam. That why we provide the lapping in beams and what is the lapping length for the beams when the bars are used in tension and compression regions and also what are the different lapping zones for the reinforced concrete beam. So actually why we provide the lapping because the maximum length of the steel bar is 10 meter from the factory. This is the maximum length of the steel bar coming from the factory. So if we have large number of beams, so if we have large number of continuous beams, so what we do, we overlap these two bars. We connect these two bars by a small wire. So now these these two bars will act as a one bar and the load will be transferred from this bar into this bar. Because due to the limitation of the steel bar, we hope to overlap these two bars. So this is the main reason that why we provide the lapping and the beams are in columns. But in this lecture, we will discuss the lapping length and lapping zones only for the beams. Now consider this is any frame structure, which is the combination of the beams and column. These vertical members are the columns and this horizontal member are the beam. So beam is a horizontal member being joined with the columns here. So this is the continuous type of beam. So upon loading on the beam, when there is a uniformly distributed load it on the beam, so it will show some deflection and also some stresses in the beam. So we call such type of stresses as the bending stresses because beam is a flexure or bending member. So upon loading, it will show some bending here, like in this way. Where we can see that the maximum bending moment will be at the mid portion of the beam here. There will be maximum bending moment. It will be past the bending moment. Here at this top, at this uh, uh, column section, at the column, there will be negative bending moment. Here as well, there will be negative bending moment of the beam. So at the both section we will provide the reinforcement. Here at this section we will provide the reinforcement at the bottom of the beam. At this portion we will provide the reinforcement at the bottom of the beam in order to resist the tensile stresses while at this portion we will provide the reinforcement at the top of the beam section because there is a maximum bending moment at the top portion of the beam. So looking into the bending moment, we will provide the reinforcement and also lapping of the bars is strongly dependent on the bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. This is strongly dependent on the bending moment diagram. How? Now I will show. So we see here that the maximum bending moment, past to bending moment is seen in the mid portion of the beam and the negative bending moment is seen at the top uh, section of the beam here at the column section. So if we if we provide the reinforcement, so we can see here that this region is very critical because we have bending moment, positive bending moment here. So when we provide the reinforcement at the bottom section of the beam for this region, so we'll provide here. So we should not overlap our steel bar at this section because we have higher bending moment at this portion of the beam. As we can see here, there is no positive bending moment at this portion of the beam. Here as well, there is no positive bending moment, but the positive bending moment goes into the upside. So we will not provide the, we will not, we will prove. So we can provide the lapping in this section, also here in this section. So the lapping of the bars will be like in this way. Now here we can provide the lapping of the bars because we don't have moment, positive moment at this section of the beam and also at this section of the beam. We don't have positive bending moment, so we can provide the lapping of the beams, lapping of the bars in this section of the beams. Similarly here, we will provide the lapping of the bars. So these are the regions where there is no or low bending moment, positive bending moment. And here we have maximum bending moment, pass to bending moment, therefore we cannot provide the lapping of the bar in this region. It is a very critical region. So the lapping of the bar is dependent on the bending moment diagram. Similarly, we can see here that the negative bending moment is maximum here at this section, at the column beam section. So we will have here reinforcement for the negative 
bending moment. So also this is a critical section, also this is a critical section. So we will not provide the lapping at these two portion of the beam because it have maximum neg negative bending moment. So in this region we can provide the lapping of the bar. So this is one bar and this is another bar. So the lapping is allowed only in this region at the top section of the beam because we don't have maximum bending moment at this at section of the beam. So we are allowed to use the uh, lapping zone here. So this will be the lapping zone for the beam when there is a top reinforcement in the beam. Now how much is the lapping length of this reinforcement? So the lapping length this is the lapping length and this lapping length is equal to the 50 into D where D is the diameter of the bar. Similarly here we will provide the reinforcement at the bottom section of the beam and this lapping length is equal to the 50 into D where D is the diameter of the bar. Let's suppose that the diameter of this bar is 25 millimeter so 50 into 25 we got 1 to 5 0 millimeter. So 1250 millimeter will be the lapping length for this bar at the bottom section. Here as well at the top section what will be this lapping length? At the top section this lapping length will be equal to the 24 into D where D is the diameter of the bar. If let's suppose the similar diameter of the bar 25 is used here. This is 25 millimeter diameter of the bar. So 24 into 25 we got 600 millimeter. So 600 millimeter will be the lapping length for this steel bars. Now if you look to this figure again, so I can classify the different lapping zone here. So this zone will be the L by 8 and L by 8 here. And also from here L by 8 and L by 8. Here we can provide the lapping in the beams. So this is L by 8 from here and L by 8 from here we can do the lapping of the beams, lapping of the steel bar. Similarly here we will provide the lapping of the steel bars only L by 8 to L by 8. If this is the total length of the beam is let's suppose this length is 15 meter so L by 8 means 15 by 8 it comes out to be 1.87 meter so up to 1.87 meter from this support and from this support we can provide the lapping of the bars similarly from here up to 1.87 meter we can provide the lapping and similarly here 1.87 meter we can provide the lapping of the steel bar for top section we have different region for example this region is divided into 3 L by 3 and this region also L by 3 and again L by 3. So we have three different sections and also from here up to here it is again L by 3 and here it is again L by 3. Now where we can provide the lapping? Here we can provide the lapping at the mid section of the beam in the top section. So the lapping will be only allowed at the L by 3, so this region. So the lapping here of the steel bar is only allowed at this region, L by 3, this region. And this region, if it is a 15 meter length, so L by 3, 15 divided by 3 comes out to be 5 meter. So at the 5 meter length, we can we are allowed to use the lapping of the bar in the top section of the beam. While L by 3 here and L by 3 here, we are not allowed to use the lapping. And also here L by 3 and also here L by 3, we are not allowed to use the lapping of the bars. Only here L by 3 we are allowed to use. And similarly, at the lower portion of the beam, we are only allowed to use the lapping here at this section. L by 8, L by 8, L by 8 and L by 8. While this, at the, this section, we are not allowed to use the lapping of the bars. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.